Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, first day of spring. Not too much to talk about today. Got this Facebook chart here. We love that. Um, this is a sell back up to the 200 day moving average now for the next couple of days. Your stop does have to be above 186, so keep that in mind. This gap may try and be filled, but doesn't look good for these fellas. Uh, and we stick with our short bias there. In FX, uh, Euro broke this, uh, this wedge pattern here. Closed at 40. Uh, should be some resistance up here in the low 70s. But we're not expecting a lot of momentum until the FOMC comes about. Keep in mind that the Kiwis are also making a rate decision tonight. So the New Zealand dollar will see some uh, see some volatility. Elsewhere, we want to look at cable. 139.83 is important uh, to us. This was the point of clean break to the top side. We stopped there three hourly lows yesterday. We believe this is going to be the bull bear pivot for the week. You want to be bullish above this point, bearish below it. Um, so keep an eye out on this. We've got UK employment. We've got UK uh, national financial statistics. And we have CBI uh, out today. So three UK numbers that could move things. Uh, so keep an eye, 139.83. Dollar CAD got plundered last night with oil prices higher. This is unusual in Asia. But some of the longs have capitulated here through 50. And um, here we are, 130.19. For us, the important point will be 129.86, which was the sort of clean break up point in dollar cad keep an eye on this although we're not getting carried away with any kind of risk now we're just in standby mode waiting for the FOMC equities yesterday traded all the way down to 16 and so we've been quiet we talked about this downside looks like a trap, um, but I don't really know what we're going to do with this. Um, so we're just going to have to wait to see FOMC. If they're super hawkish, uh, equities will get thrashed. And if, but if they're super dovish, uh, this will help equities. Um, we're kind of right in the middle of nowhere, so there's no real strong equity bias here. We had some uh, incredibly bad news out of the crypto crypto world. Looks like some jerk face embedded some pornography into the blockchain and the Bitcoin blockchain. What an idiot! Um, looks like some kind of prank or whatever because you can store metadata on each block I won't get into that but um, normally that data is used just to describe the transaction and maybe describe the transactors that's what it was made for but you can store any data on it and some asshole uh, put some pornography and there might be some child pornography on the blockchain this is uh, silliness. I'm very surprised. We're up 2% today. Um, of course, all these religious Muppets uh, are not going to like this. And, and uh, there may be some issues for anyone holding the full blockchain in certain countries, etc., etc. So just be aware this news is out. Um, but what's interesting is cryptos are higher today. So both Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin are higher. Any Bitcoins that you uh, you snatched at 82, no one got given at 72, unfortunately. Um, 
you want to just be trading to a better average now here. 92, 98, 10,200. So your average core long is at 2,000. It does look like there's going to be one more final hurrah uh, to the downside here in cryptos before we base and then start marching back higher. We want to be prepared for that. And we don't want to be a forced seller at a price that we don't want to sell at. So don't leverage and get yourself good averages. Keep your powder dry in the crypto sector. All right, I've said enough today. Listen, uh, the real trading starts tonight, FOMC. Keep an eye out on sterling volatility over the numbers. I'll check in with you guys, New York Open, for a quick uh, FOMC preview. Later, Gator. Ciao.